Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today we'll be unboxing the Bigode EX20S. I don't know where they got that name from. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. First of all, naturally also big thanks to myewheel.com for providing me this wheel for testing purposes. If you want to get a wheel like that, feel free to use my coupon code, which is wrong way for an additional 5% off. Anyways, here is the wheel. I already have taken the liberty of taking out the battery packs. They were sent separately because they were air freighted and it's simpler to send the batteries and the EUC separately rather than the whole thing and get it approved to be sent via an airplane. With that said, those battery packs, they're solid. Like, this is a dense mother <laughs> Just one of those batteries weighs five kilograms. Uh, we have a pretty decent plug with communication wires, but I won't go too much in depth into that. If you want to see a specific breakdown of the CUC, then you have to wait for a teardown. So just the batteries alone here, 20 kilograms. And the whole thing is, I believe, the heaviest EUC up to date, weighing at around 47 kilograms. But it also has a big battery, 3,600 watt hours along with a suspension system. So probably first I'll just unbox it. We'll take a first look at what's inside, but then I have to take uh, some time to assemble it. And then we can see how the uh, Bigode EX20S looks like. Certificate of compliance. This is actually for the electronics, not really for the battery. User manual. Actually, I would be impressed if at some point this really becomes a user manual. Here's just something that's like, safety information, but the rest of it doesn't tell you anything about what's inside the box. Just some spec sheets. This is the one we have, the AX20S. And then some Chinese writing with more specs. So, uh, oh, unlock steps. That's nice. So how we can activate the UC. All right, let's get this out. Some pretty nice quality foam. Doesn't leave bits and pieces everywhere around. And right away, here it is. Wow, this is long. This is long, and I know what's long is. That's what she said. We get a total length of 54 centimeters, while the master, 41. <laughs> so it's like 15 centimeters longer. Like, I had the Monster Pro. This is like, looks pretty similar in terms of length. Oh, it's not a handle? Oh, it's not a handle, like on the... Like on the master, bummer. So I was actually looking forward to see how big this is because the master is already pretty big. And this is oh. <laughs> bigger. All right, let me just grab some stuff from here. So in the box, we get a chargeur. And this is a new charger by God. What? That's great because their other ones were quite crap. So this is the same type as uh, the master in terms of like body and I guess company, but it's 3 amps and 100 volt. So it will take 12, 12 hours to charge it up fully. So really a long time, but I'm happy that they chose this charger now because the last ones, they were like, they were kind of pushing too many volts if they were getting warm, but also it's the, it, it, it depended on uh, the charger that you actually get, but I'm happy to see that. Those uh, chargers also have anti-spark protection. So if you put the uh, charger in and it's not um, connected to the wall outlet, there won't be a spark in the charge port. So nice step up here, pretty cool. But still a bit inadequate to the battery size of the master. So also some included power pads. I, I like that. We also get a pump because this is a UC with an air damper here in the back. I don't particularly like this pump. I already broke the one that I received with the master and it's like really hard to pump it up. So um, I like the one that I got on the V11 a bit more and it's not like super high quality, but glad it's here. Here in the back, we have the damper and I believe you can also put a different damper in there if you're not satisfied with the quality of this one. All right, everything looks very, very metal. You can see a very similar design to the master with a main, what is it, slider design in the middle, which is also the chassis. On the bottom, we can see 
another metal bracket for the batteries which go from here to here and we also have a more decent kickstand than the one on the master everything is metal i guess they listened to people to the community just complaining about not enough metal in the wheels i don't know if it's really the, the, the better choice because metal can bend and in a crash maybe plastic is actually a bit more durable but I guess we'll have to see we also do receive like the same rubber parts here on the top that are squishy integrated seat as well very interesting let's uh, get this thing assembled and then I'll talk a bit more about it See the top cover already has some bruises, but the funniest thing is you just mount it with double-sided tape. All right, after a very prolonged time, the assembly is finally almost finished. Now keep in mind, if you will receive your EX20S, you won't have to do all of that. Like it's just because the shipping is quicker uh, with the air freight, the battery separately, the wheel separately, and that is why. But I also get a chance to take a look at the insides of this wheel a bit, you know, take a look at the metal, which I really like. I have also some thoughts about, you know, the wires dangling here and some, you know, other design choices. We also have to check out in the end if this wheel is safe, but I already could take a bit of a look at it and I think it looks better than what be good was doing before there were some screws missing actually four of them so i need to buy some new ones for the battery mounts and uh, the beeper doesn't work it's busted right out of the box so it's still a big old wheel <laughs> general impressions are i guess a bit better than than usual big old stuff just in the waterproofing department I don't, i'm not really sure if it's safe with this wheel to ride in the rain so now we will need to pump up the suspension and we have the valve I think it's a 170 millimeter damper, or like 165, branded Bagode. I will pump it up to around 280 PSI, because if this shock is anything similar to the one in the Bagode Master, then, whoa, it's pumping up. Will it fall over? <laughs> then I will need a lot of pressure to make sure not to bottom out with this thing at any given moment. I have this piece of uh, styrofoam to not bust my hand right away. <laughs> oh, it's just a 200. This pump is so bad. For now, I guess I'll stop at 250. Maybe I'll pump it up more later. All right, so since everything is assembled now, let's talk about this wheel a bit. It got a lot bigger now. Uh, so what I have here is the C38 version. There's two motor variants of this wheel. I have the high torque because torque is what I love. I think the top speed will be around 55, 60 kilometers an hour, but insane torque. The high speed version probably can go as fast as the uh, Sherman here. 
Uh, and there's quite a lot of things that are stock here that are to like about this wheel. First of all, I like the pad design here a lot. There are two screws here and it's really easy to adjust back and forth how they should be placed on the wheel. Um, the R&D budget stopped at this pad and the, the bottom pad is just glued on. So I wish it would be either Velcroed or some sort of mechanism like here, but still, those don't feel like the worst pads I've, I've tried. Probably they won't be like anything close to the Nilonova that I have there, the kinetic system, but they seem pretty decent and I'm glad that they're here out of the box. I like the pedals a lot and the pedals are exactly the same as on the Bigode Master with proper mountain bike studs, angle adjustment, uh, a good system for closing and opening, big, uh, spacious, yeah. Uh, it's really nice how these pads are stock right out of the box and will be quite decent for um, to start riding on this EUC right away. Now there's also this new design of this padding all around the wheel and I think it's a better design than on the master because this is actually in front of the lights as on the master it's like in, on the same level. There's a lot of metal, uh, I don't know if it's a good solution, but it's here and here you can see the cables. You're actually pressing against the cables if you grip the EUC tightly. I have my doubts with this thing here. That, that doesn't look that good of a solution. But the seat is also integrated and that's really nice. Here we have the charge board. And uh, we have two GX16-5 ports, the usual ones like we see on Gotways. I don't know what the max charge rate is on these things, probably around 8 amps. We have the beeper here on the top, which normally should be very well hearable, but since it's broken, it's not. We have a lift sensor here on the top, where we can find those two buttons. So here's the lift sensor. You just press twice. But sadly, there is nothing really convenient to you know, how to get this wheel, how to pull it up, because the, the trolley is just plastic, so I don't know if it can hold on like that for long. And here everywhere we have some sort of sharp edges. So you can lift it up, it's just like, not so nice. Look at this, this is very sharp, not nice. Maybe by the suspension mechanism, really, I don't know. Seems some sort of a thing they didn't think about. Then we have the power button on here, and of course the light button. I think the light quality is very similar to the Master, but maybe the beam is a bit different. Let's compare it to the V11. So here we have the V11. As you can see, I have finally the Grizzla XL pads. So soon we can make a pad comparison. Anyways, this is the V11 light. And this is the Bigode Master light. Uh, still seems pretty bright, but a more of a focus beam. However, a thing that I noticed with the light of the master, and I think it will be similar with the um, EX20S, is that they're not really that blinding for others. So that's really cool. I actually prefer to have a light like this that is not blinding, as opposed to a super powerful beam that like, just shines all over the place. I think it's a different light than the master. Let me really see how the master looks like. So yeah, totally different beam on the Master, as you can see. The trolley handle is actually on a very nice height. I think it's as tall as on the, as on the Veteran Sherman. I think it's almost the same, really close. Mm -hmm. So this will be convenient. It feels rather sturdy. And it goes down by itself on one edge. So I think there's something wrong with the spring. Here's okay, here's not. Well, that, that's what we get. And it's rather wide, so it's easier, I guess, to, to control it. Um, when it comes to the tail light, it's rather dark. And they just usually put the darkest plastic they have in front of those, the, in front of those lights, so I just don't get it. It's a bit better water sealed than on the Master because it has like its own casing. But I don't think it'll be visible with that in the night. Just put some shred lights SLFX here on the sides and you'll be good. We have also a tail mud guard, which looks really decent. And here is also the kickstand, which as said before, feels very sturdy. Now the star of the show is of course the suspension. So let's see about that. Oh, it's so smooth. 
It's so smooth. That's insane. And you also have a adjustment knob here in the back, which controls your rebound. But it already feels so great. I can't wait to ride this thing because this thing just seems to be like a great long range cruiser. So here is with like a slow rebound. It goes up slower. So for like faster speedy riding. The tire, just like on the Master, is a uh, 20 inch uh, diameter. The rim diameter is uh, 14 inches and probably is just like a narrow tire, like on all gotways. So, I mean, narrow rim, like in all gotways. So, I would like to see a change in this department. There is no Bluetooth. Is there a Bluetooth speaker? Let's see. So, as far as I was checking on my phone, there doesn't seem to be a Bluetooth speaker available on this wheel. So, a bummer. But hey, that's recently what we've been getting on all of our wheels. So with that said, uh, I guess we talked about most of the stuff here uh, about this wheel, at least in the sort of unboxing part of things. And I think it looks really cool. I think it looks a lot cooler than other pictures. Like on the pictures, it looks like a, I don't know, what would you compare it on other pictures, Kate? Stash of metal. It looks like a machine for like construction work. <laughs> yeah, so that's what it looks like. But in, in person, it actually like has some design. I think it looks like a lot more solid and like interesting than the King Song S20. The suspension seems to work really nicely. Now, naturally, there will be some you know cons in the waterproofing department and with the safety. As said, I, I have to check. But the first impressions of this thing are very nice. It's it's like a couch, you know, just sit and you ride for hours. I can already tell that I'll be able to ride with this comfortably for you know, hundreds of, of kilometers. So yeah, I guess if you're still here, leave a massive like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this splendid content you have just seen now. And I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.